Alright guys, Dominic here for Kit Guru, and today we're looking at the AirPulse A200 speaker system. If you haven't heard of AirPulse, don't worry, I had not either, and although they are a distinct company, they actually have close links with Edifier, so there's some real speaker pedigree there. However, at £799, they're not really for the entry-level speaker user, so if you're an enthusiast and you've got a bit of cash to spend, we're going to see if these are a good buy or not. So diving straight into the design, I think the first thing which really grabbed my attention was the fact that there's no kind of foam cover on the front, you've just got the exposed tweeter and the aluminium cone. That tweeter by the way is a horn loaded ribbon tweeter and then below that you've got the 5.5 inch aluminium cone midwoofer. So it's a really striking design, I wouldn't necessarily say it's quite sci-fi-y but it's definitely kind of got that edge to it and I think it looks really good. The next thing to note is the actual cabinets of each speaker unit themselves. The cabinets are made from MDF, although they've got this lovely cherry wood veneer, and it's also got a satin finish, which gives it almost a glossy finish to it, and it looks really good. Another thing to note about the cabinets themselves is there's actually 36 millimeters of foam uh, sound damping material inside the cabinet, and Airpulse says this is just to provide um, a full sound signature that's free of coloration so you know there's going to be no kind of unwanted interference with the sound bouncing around inside the cabinet. Now turning the cabinet over, I've only turned around one, but there's actually one vent tube on either of the two speaker units and this is to prevent any unwanted wind noise. Below that, on the right hand speaker, you've actually got all of the inputs and the adjustment knobs. So starting with those adjustment knobs, they're actually made of aluminium, they feel really nice, they've got really distinct steps, and overall it just fits in with the kind of premium feel. In terms of inputs, you can actually connect up to four devices via a cable to the uh, A200. You've got a balanced input if you want that, there's also the auxiliary, uh, optical and coaxial. So plenty of choice there. And you can also add a Bluetooth connection if you want, Bluetooth 4.0 with APTX technology. So in total, being able to connect up to five different devices to the A200, I think that is quite impressive. Moving on to the bottom of this little panel, there's also the power input, there's a power switch, and lastly, there is the left speaker out port. For that, you need this quite long, quite thick cable here. So depending how you're gonna place the A200, you might need to think about how you're going to hide this cable, but it's about four meters long, so that gives you plenty of flexibility. And obviously you do need the cable to connect the two, so really it's a situation you can't really do anything about that. Now, moving on to performance, I should tell you that I had the A200 connected to my desktop amplifier, the Ship Magni 3. I had it connected from the, the preamp on that amplifier, connected to the auxiliary input of the A200. And at first I left all the volume knobs at their default kind of 12 o'clock levels to see what the out of the box sound was. And overall I was quite impressed. The sound is definitely a bit on the dark side. It's got a really punchy forward mid range, which makes uh, vocals, especially strong female vocalists like Adele for instance, they really come alive uh, with the A200. There's also the, the low end is quite punchy. It can be a bit on the um, kind of not overbearing, but it's definitely quite noticeable. So my personal preference is to have a bit more of a lean sound. So you don't really get that with the A200. And at the same time, the kind of treble, the top end detail isn't necessarily there out of the box. So what I did, I did some tweaking around the back to kind of get my preferred sound signature. Obviously, if you do like that kind of darker, thicker sound, then the A200 is gonna suit you down to a T. But I tweaked the bass down a bit, turned the treble up a bit, and it was a bit better, I was getting a bit more detail in the high end, but there's really only so much you can do with a little adjustment knob at the back. So the A200 is definitely for those people who want a kind of more darker, enjoyable sound rather than a bit more fun, rather than something that's analytical or overly neutral. In terms of volume, the A200 can actually get really, really loud. If you play at maximum volume, you're definitely gonna get some angry knocks on the door from your neighbors. When you do have it at the higher volumes though, the bass does come a bit overbearing. I found the overall sound gets quite muddy. However, no one in their right mind is really going to be listening to these speakers at those higher volumes. It's just far too loud. You're going to damage your ears. So it's really only for those select occasions. Maybe you have a house party or whatever and you really want to turn it up. But on the whole, the sound is 
it is, it is a good sounding speaker system. My only hesitancy is that it's not necessarily my preference. I do prefer, you know, the kind of cleaner, more balanced sound. But if you are someone who likes the darker sound, then they could well be for you. Another thing to mention is connecting over Bluetooth. I didn't actually notice any signal degradation when I connected over Bluetooth compared to having a wired connection. So that's definitely impressive, um, a testament to the quality of the aptX technology. Uh, in terms of Bluetooth range as well, I found I could get out the door and probably walk about a couple of meters down the hallway before I noticed the sound kind of cutting in and out. And that's obviously through some concrete as well. So it's quite impressive. And really the Bluetooth is just there to be handy if you've got some mates around. Instead of having to connect up via a cable, you can just connect to your phone and away you go playing some songs. The last thing to note is actually the little remote control as well. This just It's a basic remote control. You've got volume and you can choose the different inputs and there's also a power button on there. So a key question for me when reviewing the A200 is, is this speaker system worth £799? At first my opinion was probably not, as while well, I was impressed out of the box, I didn't think they sounded that much better than my Edify speakers and they cost around £200. The exact model for those is the R2730DB. So switching directly from the edifiers to the AirPulse, I wasn't that blown away, but it was when I switched back actually, which I, when I really noticed the difference, the mid range on the A200 is, is actually really punchy and really forward. And by comparison, it made the mid range on my edify speakers sound really weak. Vocals just weren't coming through in, with nearly the same emphasis. So. In that regard, the A200 is very, very good. But as I mentioned, as I keep going on about it, it really depends on your overall preference. If you like that kind of darker, more coloured presentation, then the A200 is going to definitely is going to be a, a very appealing option for you. It's obviously more expensive, but you do get that fantastic mid-range quality. Personally, I wouldn't rush out and buy them just because I prefer that kind of cleaner, a bit more area sound signature, for which the edifies actually do really well. They've got some nice detail in the high end, so I think I'll be sticking with those. But on the whole, the A200 is a very good option for those who want that kind of more fun, enjoyable sound rather than something analytical. So I'm Dominic with Kit Guru. This has been our review of the AirPulse A200 speaker system. If you like this review, you can hit thumbs up. You can hit thumbs down and leave a comment. Also subscribe if you haven't already. I know in the future I'm going to be doing a review of the Razer Nomo speakers, so that will make an interesting comparison against the AirPulse A200. Lastly, we'd also love to connect with you over on Facebook and Twitter, but until then, we will see you in the next video.